Hello and welcome. In this video, we're gonna take a look at an issue that I was able to resolve within Visual Studio. Hopefully this fix will help somebody else out. So essentially what I was trying to do was install the latest version of Bootstrap. So obviously, as you probably already know, the best way or the easiest way, the most convenient way to do that is to go to NuGet Package Manager and update it within Visual Studio. So let's take a look at that. I'm going to randomly load any project for the sake of this demo. Let's go ahead and right click on the project and click on Manage NuGet Packages. So basically I wanted to install the latest version of Bootstrap. So let's click on Bootstrap and note that we're in installed packages. So to the right, I'm currently on version 3.4.1. So this version is way out of date. Uh, certainly didn't have some of the features that I was requiring. Uh, essentially what I was trying to do is I was trying to get a, a loading spinner to work. And uh, it took me a little while to realize that the reason it wasn't working was because my version of Bootstrap was way too old. So I wanted to install a new version, probably the latest version. So I came to the NuGet package manager and expected to see when I clicked on the version a whole different bunch but unfortunately I didn't so after a little bit of investigating and looking around I noticed that the package source was actually looking at offline packages and so after a bit of investigating it appears that you have to add one here so that you can look at the online packages so I'm going to go ahead and show you how I did that to resolve the issue. So you click on add and I've got a copy and paste here. So this will be the name nuget.org. Now obviously I'm pretty sure you could put whatever you want in the name but I'm going to keep it as nuget.org. And this is the the source so https colon forward slash forward slash api.nuget.org forward slash v3 forward slash index.json ah, and there we go I accidentally clicked on it I didn't actually realize you could click on links in notepad plus plus so there we go you learn something every day it looks like yeah looks like if you highlight it and click it it seems to work that's pretty cool Hmm. Very strange. It's, I double click it maybe. Sorry, I'm going slightly off piste here. Okay, so if you double click a link in Notepad, you can visit it. How cool is that? Anyway, let's stop digressing. So if you go ahead and you copy that, let's paste it into the source here, and then let's click OK. Right, great. So now if we select it from the drop down, voila, we actually get all of the versions of Bootstrap, which is actually what I was expecting to see. So um, we could now go ahead and obviously click on the latest stable version and go ahead and click update. So that caused, that caused me a, uh, a bit of a headache the other day. So. I'm hoping this will help somebody else out. So uh, if it did help you out, if you enjoyed the video, if you could go ahead and like the video, that would be totally awesome. It really helped me out in the YouTube algorithm. If you want to see similar content to this in the future, why not go ahead and consider subscribing. And if you've got any comments, questions or suggestions, go ahead and leave them in the comment section below. And I will see you in the next video.